All right, so uh, MTG Theros pre-release uh, sealed was this past weekend. Uh, while I was at my local LGS, I picked up the uh, pre-made Ashiok deck. Um, the one thing I like about that. And uh, <clears throat> one thing I like about the decks, I like the Planeswalker decks just because of the sometimes unique cards that are only in the deck uh, that are not typically able to be get, gotten in the set. And <clears throat> I like uh, also getting them just because I like if somebody wants to learn how to play. Um, you know, I have, I think, pretty much most of these. Uh, so uh, they, they do come with the nice uh, code so you can get access to it in MTG Arena. Uh, so Ashiok, of course, we all know is one of the legendary planeswalkers that's it can't come into Theros. Uh, black and blue. Uh, black and blue is slowly becoming one of my favorite colors to play uh, next to black and white. Uh, so this deck is unaltered. This is the deck as you get it if you were to buy the pack of cards. <clears throat> uh, so I figure, uh, you know, I keep them around. I like using them just to mess with and just to see how they play. Um, just to kind of get an idea. Do love the new lands. Um, I think the artwork is really nice. Uh, I think it goes well with this set. Uh, because it's based on, you know, the celestial beings, gods, demigods, and also dreams. So, I mean, uh, you know, I definitely like the full art card. Um, not too happy with the scry lands. Uh, I don't like that they're a rare. Uh, I pulled one of them in the pre-release, and that was like, oh, well, great, that's one of my rares. And, of course, the colors in the deck came with that. <clears throat> Six pack of cards was not even anywhere close to... Uh, what colors gave me enough spells to do anything so unfortunately uh, I didn't get very far uh, you know the other nice thing about these is you know for 18 bucks I think is what I paid you get two packs of cards so you figure four bucks eight bucks there so you're paying really like ten bucks for the uh, paper cards then if you want to count the, you know the MTG uh, so not a bad deal and I mean one there's one kid you little kid there that was also at the uh, tournament freely saw me he got one of these he got an ashiok uh deck like this and pulled two really nice uh a mythic and a rare uh and that alternate con constellation artwork I was kind of jealous i mean that was a really good pull that kid was ecstatic i think overall he had like three really good pulls out of that so i mean they do you know you, you do get the risk of uh getting some nice cards in those two extra packs so great product i mean i always get them i, I have a whole drawer full of them so, let's go in and play a couple uh, rounds. Again, this is unaltered. Um, just to see how the deck is. You know, I do this with all the decks that when they come out, I try to get them. I have Elspis coming uh, through Amazon. Um, so, uh, I should have that one hopefully sometime like the 27th, and I'll do a video with that. Um, So let's see what this deck does, and uh, I'll, <clears throat> I'll play a couple rounds. Um, I think I need to play black and red today to, for my daily challenge. Uh, so, uh, at least, you know, I'll be able to get some of these uh, knocked out of the way. I mean, one thing I would love to do uh, once I get enough uh, cards is to do... Uh, when Wizards gave me that nice free trial account, um, I was playing with a black and blue. Not with this Ashiok, but the other one, I would love to do a Nightmare deck. Basically anything that... Uh, Anything that uh, has to do with nightmares and things that go bump in the night, or I don't know. <coughs> uh, 
that was cool. I didn't know that did that. Huh. You know, and the other thing I like about this is... Oh, it gets it till end of turn. Alright. I do like the uh, escape feature. Uh, that was one thing I, at, you know, with being a limited pre-release tournament, you don't have a lot of creature removal, and it also seemed like those people that got a lot of escape uh, did really well because you can only kill a creature so many times in that limited for format that uh, it was just kind of miserable. Uh, I swear to God, this one guy brought this one stupid creature back three or four times. Now, I mean, of course, it all depends on how many cards you put into the graveyard. Um, so, uh, you know, that's the other thing, but uh, using... I mean, I guess the cool thing is... You know, you have a lot... If you build a deck like this, you need to have a lot of escape. If you're going to build through your own... Uh... Well, that was good. You got rid of four of my lands. That would have sucked. You know, devotion. Definitely interesting. Uh... Oh, what do I want to put in my... Let me a little escape feature. <coughs> now again, this is just a... I haven't done anything with this deck. Um, so I'm playing it as is. Ooh, he has any good... See, I never get that. That guy could have... You know, the one thing that really bugs me about... Uh... Players, is that person could have easily... Uh, finished me off. Uh... That match didn't go well. Again, and this is unmodified, so um, I figure I'll play a couple matches with this, and then I'll probably just delete it. You know, uh, the other nice thing I like is, uh, you know, sometimes you see people are like, "Oh, well, this is pay to win or whatever." Um, you know, uh, with this deck, if I get in here. You know, you do get, you know, some uncommons, you get a goal, a couple goals, you get one. So, I mean, the one thing I like about that is that, you know, you don't have to worry about using one of your uh, wild cards. Uh, so I'll go back. I've got six of my black. Haven't bought the uh, Mastery Pass yet. Uh, I bought it last season. Um, I'll probably get it again 
this season. I mean, I do like the alternate card backs. I do like, you know, they do give you some gold, some extra packs. I mean, they're older sets. Um, I wish uh, they let you like this Guild of Ravnica or this M2020. You know, when you get to a point where you have all the cards, I'm like, the only thing I don't like about that is if I open it, okay, yeah, it helps with my um, chest to get the extra... Uh, the extra wild cards, but it's a shame that they don't do it so you could do like a chaos draft or something where, uh, you know, like you pick six packs of cards, chaos draft from your inventory, and you can use them. I mean, it'd be cool to see something like that built into this where it would be beneficial, you know, that if you had those or you needed those or if you didn't need them, it'd still be something fun to play with. I mean, I mean, I guess if you come, if you just start playing MTG Arena and you had this as um, your new, uh, a new account, you know, for a new player, it'd be great to have uh, the ability to grab some of these cards and that you know are still uh, legitimate um, to play in standard. Um, for me, again, like I said, it doesn't really matter because I already have a lot of them. So, I mean, it'd be cool to kind of make it a little interesting. You know, the Sleep of the Dead... Well, that's not how I wanted it to go. I'll take it, though. I'll take that 250 gold. Um... Ooh. Arrows be a claim my prize. Uh, this... This year, or this set, I, I forgot, completely forgot to get the 50 packs for 50 bucks, so unfortunately, oh, that's a nice art card. I got one of those in the pre-release pre tournament. Um, didn't play black and blue. Uh, I had red and green. I had a red and green deck. I had a white and black deck, um, but really never got anything good in blue. Um, pre-release tournaments are kind of becoming my favorite um you know a lot i do have a lot of the decks that i do better with in arena i go out and buy the paper card version uh but i i don't do a lot of tournaments or anything uh just never really had the desire to um but, you know, who knows, maybe that will change. Um, one thing, though, I can't wait till some of these pre-release packs for Theros comes out. I'd love to buy a couple. Um, like I said, I got some good pools. You know, I got some good pools, but not really anything, like, overwhelming. Um, you know, the only downside is, unfortunately, uh, it, the cards seem to be still warping. Uh, that's one thing that really bugs the hell out of me is that the, all these cards are just warping like crazy when you pull them out of the packs and like, let them sit for a little bit and then they're just, you know, ridiculously bent. Um, you know, kind of, especially the foils. I've noticed that a lot with the foils. Okay, so this is the type of deck we're going to deal with. Now, the only thing I don't like about this deck so far is it has a lot of nice creatures, but uh, they don't have any quick attackers. Uh, which kind of sucks, I mean, so this is definitely not going to, you know, this type of deck might have some issue, I mean, even when I read the uh, paper that comes with it, it says the longer the game goes on, the better your odds are, the only problem is, you know, with Cavalcade and a lot of the faster decks, uh, you know, how is that going to uh, help? You know, I think those Mind Rack Harpies are a very good card. I, I do like them for being a common. Uh,
people seem to really not like them. The only thing I wish, I wish it was maybe three mana. Oh, that's miserable. That was a good game. Again, I just... They just seem like they're... It's a, you know, a weak deck. Maybe I'll stall them for another turn, get another... I really don't like that Harpy. Do not like that. I really should do best of three, but I'd be worried about how this deck turns out. Um, I do like best of one, although I did have a really good match with this kid. Uh, again, like I said, the nice neat thing about the pre-release is you get to you know you level everyone's playing field, and then it's just a matter of luck of what box you pick in the in the beginning. Uh, so. The second yesterday, was it yesterday? No, it was Saturday. Saturday did the pre-release and uh, unfortunately didn't have anything really good and it was just kind of like trying to scrape something together that worked. <coughs> so, uh, nice snowy day, not much to do, so they had the tournament, it was uh, four rounds. Um, so I figured, what the hell, I'll stick around for the three of the rounds, see how I do. And if I was doing good, I would stick around for the last one. Um, <clears throat> needless to say, got my butt kicked pretty much the whole day. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's my lack of draft. That would be only the third time I did a sealed draft. I really don't do too many. Uh, I really don't do too many uh, sealed drafts on Arena. Um, I did actually get some gold to do a sealed draft. Uh, you know, I know a lot of times people like to do the sealed drafts to get cards. Um, and, uh, you know, that's a great idea instead, you know, because again, if you get something good, you might be able to. Uh, win some extra packs, so, you know, I guess if you look at it that way, uh, it's a pretty good deal. Um, what's this one again? Three or more. This deck definitely is way too slow. Definitely. That ultimate at minus 11 is really cool. Gain control of all target creature or creature's target opponent of control. <coughs> oh, I didn't want to exile that. Oops. that guy up. I'm getting sick and tired of
dog just noticed that his his arch enemy is over there. Again, the deck is too slow. Um, something faster. Uh, it just doesn't have any early defenses, any type of unsummons. Um, you know, I think if it had something like that, it'd be a lot better. You know, it's getting good mana. I mean, it has these guys, but... Uh, okay, there's a there's a nice three. That one, of course, is Devotion, so, you know, you can't... You, you know, at minimum, he's a 2-2. Two, two. Now let's see how quick I can die in this one. Uh, red Cavaclade? Cavacade? Eh, possibility. that's interesting is I'm, you're, you're not seeing this really impact the game the decks you're seeing um, you know I haven't seen a lot of people really try to bl play a lot with the new set um, you know I have a lot of the paper cards of Theros and it's really interesting I was going through them and kind of seeing what type of shit uh, they had um, and uh, you know it, it, it would have been nice if they had the original Theros in Arena. It'd be nice if they added it in. Um, I'm not sure if it, the original Theros is in MTG Online. Um, I played that for a little bit, but I didn't like how you were basically paying the same retail price for uh, virtual cards. And the, I always found like the trading ability to be kind of a little difficult to understand. So I just never really got into the MTG Arena. 
or MTG online, I'm sorry. Playing MTG Arena. Again, like the card. Alright buddy, come on. I love when people are like playing, 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 and then all of a sudden it's like... Did you forget how to play? Too late buddy, you're losing three of your cards. They really do not like that harpy. So you know, the nice thing I, I see about that harpy is that's a good card to put in uh, to try to get them to draw fire, uh, waste that spell on something. Uh, I'm trying to play my black spells. I'd love to pull a mana. Dog's going crazy again.
So that was pretty impressive. I mean, the deck actually won one. Um, so evidently red and blue burn. Uh, definitely not fast enough to deal with this. Um, but again, this is a deck that it, it's basically if you go out and buy the if you go out and buy the Planeswalker deck. Oh, what just happened? Here we go. You get the, of course, get the code and uh, you know here's what you get in that in that deck. Um, and again, this isn't modified. Uh, I haven't modified it. I might play with it a little bit. Um, the harpies, mind rack harpy, people seem to really dislike. Uh, that seems to be like the creature that they kill the quickest. Uh, you know, it'd be interesting to see. You know, sleep of the dead probably would swap that out for something else. Although, although it does have the escape feature. Um, the Ashiok planeswalker that comes with it. Um, really haven't been able to use him for m much of anything. Uh, I think I have like two others that I already have gotten through packs. I might. So this might be a deck I might modify up um, now that I played it a couple times. Uh, I'll probably just uh, do an export, save it, put it under my Planeswalker deck file that I have in my notepad, and uh, go from there. Um, I'll, and when I edit the video, I'll put up the uh, card list for this deck so that if you have these cards, you don't have to uh, it's easy for you to just copy and paste and have them put into a deck for you. Um, do like the new lands. Um, I'll probably only, I won't spend the effort to swap them out. And I'm not even sure, did I, with the lands, did you, let's see here. <clears throat> ah, so that's why they're there. Uh, it's because I bought the deck. So, I mean, I guess uh, if you want the alternative, the Beyond Death uh, lands, you have to kind of get them in the decks. I wondered why they appeared. I just thought Wizards was nice and gave them to us. Nah, so it must be because well, that's a nice added benefit, I guess. If you if you want to use this black in the in the uh, as your land, uh, you know that is the, a benefit. Because I thought that they just were nice and popped them in. Maybe they'll have a tournament or something down the road. But no, they're not in any of the other colors. I guess probably the easiest way would have just been like this. Yeah, so they're there, but... Ah, you can craft them. <clears throat> so I guess, yeah, if you want to craft them, the only nice thing about this is... Uh, I didn't have to use any commons, but maybe I'll use some of my... How many commons do I have? I got one common. Yeah, maybe I'll craft up. Ah! So you, you can't redeem them. You cannot redeem these for wild cards. Uh, so that kind of sucks for... So I guess... Literally, the only way to get them is at this point is um, they're there. But the only way to get them is if you want to play with them, you have to buy the Ashiok Sculptor, a Fears deck, or the Elspeth deck. Um, so I guess I'll have blue, white, and black in uh, Theros Beyond Death. Maybe they'll have some type of event. I don't think there's anything in the store. Uh, just I don't think there's anything in the store yet that you buy them. 60% off. No, no. Not into that. Pets? Nope. Sleeves? No. Avatar? Bundles? Well, maybe they'll have a bundle pack or something. Um, well, that kind of sucks. So, yeah, I mean, if you 
buy the uh, that's the, I guess the other benefit I mean if you buy the pack you get the uh, uh, lands that are in that and I think Elspeth, Elspeth's deck is only a white deck um, so that's it's a shame they didn't have other um, planeswalker decks uh, just from that aspect um, get my one pack I like how they're telling you if you get something for the first one. Uh, the only downside is more depressing as you start getting more and more here. Um, but yeah, the Ashiok deck. Um, I got two more. Uh, I'll be right back in uh, a couple minutes and I'll continue playing some more uh, with this deck.
All right, there we go. I'm back. Uh, just had to do some laundry. Unfortunately, it's laundry day, so. Uh, playing the pre-built Ashiok deck. Um, I think I'm one in three now. Uh, the only deck it beat so far was a red and blue. Um, it definitely is a deck that the longer you play, the better your chances are getting some good creatures. Uh, the more cards in your graveyard, uh, the, you know, the bigger the creatures become. Uh, the one thing just realized is that I got this swamp and uh, island uh, out of the set. So, uh, you know, it'll be interesting uh, down the road what they do. I do like Underworld Charger. Can't block, the only downside, I mean... That's cool artwork. You know, it's a shame Sparky, you couldn't have Sparky play these, these type decks. Um. attack though.
so it's good against mono green, I guess, because mono green typically takes a little bit of time. Um, level up, baby. So, for those that might have just joined, I've been playing the uh, Ashiok Sculptor of Fears deck. For those that want to get it, I mean, you know, Planeswalker decks, 14 bucks. I mean, even if you don't play Paper Magic, I mean, you know, you get some cool cards. You don't have to, you know, you get a deck that you can start building off of. Um, what is in there in here? One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. So nine uncommons, three three rares, and a mythic. And then again, you know, you buy the Planeswalker decks, you get the nice uh, dreamy uh, land. So hope you enjoyed this, seeing this deck, testing this deck out. Uh, again, there's the contents of the deck. Uh, overall, I think it's a neat deck. I think it has potential. Um, I'll probably do take a look at this deck and modify it and see how I can improve it.